same thing with Colin Sexton. Uh, you're dealing with a kid who came to our team camp going into his junior year. Nobody knew who he was. You know what I mean? I mean, wasn't ranked in the top 200. And I remember seeing him. At, I mean, I remember seeing him at. And that's the, another important thing I think we, we do here. We don't care about the ranking. You know, we evaluate talent, and then we decide. We, we rank you. What are you ranking to the Alabama staff and the Alabama program? And so this kid was a part of 200 in the country. Nobody knew him. And I remember seeing him at team camp and saying, man, he can play. So we followed him his, his whole junior year. And Barry and Coach, man, wasn't nobody in the gym watching him. His whole junior year, it's amazing. And he just kept playing well. I would go watch him. He would have 35 against kids going to North Carolina, kids going to, you know, a lot of high majors. He would just keep playing well. And so going into the summertime, people start kind of like mumbling about him. But still, he was, I think he got maybe ranked like 90 in the country. And he told me before the summer that he, wanted, he had a couple goals. He wanted to be a McDonald's All-American. He wanted to win a USA medal. And he wanted to basically just headhunt every guy ranked in front of him. And the kid went out and did it. And he's now a top, what, top 10 player in the country, but just through sure hard work. And when he got ranked that high, you know, a lot of the Blue Bloods came calling. But we had been in there so long, and we had developed a, such a strong relationship with his mom, dad, his high school coach, his brother, his sister, everybody. They were all bought into our vision at Alabama till. Those old schools came in. They were just too late. 